Okay. It's gonna be a one on one. Roland versus Argelia. I have to admit, kinda not feeling this one. The others were pretty nice. And the lead up was there, definitely, but I feel like we haven't seen enough of Argelia to really make him like this big bad he's supposed to be. You know? His motives were too vague. He he had no time to really explain anything other than well my sister died and I'm crazy so I guess everyone else is gonna get distorted too which makes no fucking sense why would you it makes no sense <laughs> why would he worship the one phenomenon that killed his sister I think he just snapped at that moment and he's more of a siscon than he lets on I guess but yeah the fact that I've been kind of spoiled in this fight as well doesn't really help because uh, apparently I'm most likely go gonna do it wrong. I know something about a mechanic I'm supposed to look out for. I know that I should be using Lone Fixer, which I'm not using by the way because I don't think I have it available anymore. I've used it all up on on Gibura's and Tipper's floor, I believe. But yeah, since I'm alone, it would make sense, I guess. It's a shame because I wanted to show you what I had in store for the other um, members of the Cater Floor. Uh, Chloe Bong Bong Realism and Charlotte. But there's going to be Cater Realization still. And if Cater Realization fails, I am I feel like I'm free to finally use all of these pages <laughs> with no fabric and stuff. I could be... Could be using them on Roland if I'm not able to to finish Agalia this way because I'm not gonna do everything else again. But let's just get into it. On the floor of general works, Roland will receive his guest alone. Begin the reception. Yeah, yeah. Let's maybe we're gonna get some more backdrop for this whole thing, and I'm gonna come out of this one um, more positive than I am now. Agalia. No fabric, shimmering. Uh, take no damage from ranged combat pages. We have. One ranged combat page at least, right? Do we actually? Yeah, here we go. I take your logic. No damage is okay. It's not like he fully negates them. I can still clash and win, and it's gonna be a neutral result, I guess. Important to uh, differentiate these two. He uses resonate, a combat page that becomes stronger for Galia's speed equals his target's vibration. So as long as we turn Roland off. And he doesn't vibrate, we're okay, I guess? Maybe? Uh, when HP falls to 25, purge all status elements and fully recover stack resist. Afterwards, uses the combat page Final Impromptu. HP does not fall below 25 until this happens. So we're gonna have to um, deal with this mechanic, basically. It's like a, a hard stop, and then we have to deal with Final Impromptu and then kill him. Uh, also, the reason for ranged cards not working on him most likely is because you could possibly negate this final impromptu since ranged cards always go first and this one might be either another ranged card or um, just a melee attack. Immune to immobilization? Can you immobilize an enemy? Oh yeah, with like the, not the chef's kiss, but the ice queen's kiss. Opponents max HP and stagger resist increase. That's interesting. Opponent's number of dice, pages drawn per scene, and light recovery increase by two. If no other allies are present at the end of the scene, gain free strength next scene. He or us? He, I guess. Full commitment. Well, it's a one on one of two very strong fighters, so it's okay. Uh, do, we, do I need to take a look at them or do I just deal with them? Oh, here we go, final impromptu, the melee card. Target's current die cannot be recycled. So it's to fuck with the atelier logic. What do I use against? A 7, 10, 8, 14, 8, 14, 8, 14, and then an 8, 16. Maybe crystal atelier, but it can't be recycled, so it's gonna slash through the um, evade dice. That would still be the best bet, I guess. Either atelier logic or crystal atelier. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Let's just go. Um, someone else also said that the episode could be five minutes long, but... 
I've already spent twice that amount whining about me not, <laughs> not really being in the mood for this fight right now. Maybe I'm just afraid, who knows? Um, <laughs> I feel like Agalia is assuming a lot here. So, Agalia has like the hypotism? Do we get this right? Or is he just. I, I mean, he's making fun of him, right? Oh, oh, I get it now. Argelia unlocked the remaining 99% of his brain capacity. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. What is that? Olbaratabuhanangon, isn't the very like foundation of a fact that it has been proven before? You can't really say that. Or it's it's a fact, and we can prove it. You say we can prove it. Thus, it is a fact. Angelica <laughs> Twice? This is interesting because Agelia is basically admitting that he immediately distorted, kind of. For a second, or for however long that brief moment was, he was devastated at the news or like the the feeling that his sister died but since the seed of light happened at the same time or rather the whole seed of light thingy and well angela implanting everyone with a ticking time bomb um happened at the same time as the pianist distorting and killing everyone agile didn't really have time to mourn like a proper human being would he must have been crazy before but as we know, like, uh, um, ego and cogito and, like, distortion and seed of light, all of that shit it is basically almost the same thing. I know it isn't, but you know what I mean. Um, it brings out the best and the worst, depending on the person in people. And I get it, he just snapped. <laughs> basically, as I said before, he, he fucking 
was like a string on a fucking violin just fucking went ping and then he was gone. 내가 널 잃은 게 정말 비극이었을까? 누가 이를 비극이라 정의했을까? Well, as long as I tell myself that the sun is blue and the grass is yellow, it'll be that way, right? 넌 아직도 분노의 눈이 멀어 있지만 난 이제 그런 감정들에 신경 쓰지 않기로 했어. 지금조차 안젤리카를 위한다는 명목으로 끈덕지게 매달리는 주제. Why is Roland so angry? I mean, I get, I get why, but he should just call out Agalia for the edgy cunt that he is. 아니야, Roland. 난곧이 연주와 함께 안젤리카를 보내주려고 해. 누구처럼 추하게 난동 부리는 일은 없을 거란 말이지. 안젤리카가 더러운 목적을 위한 명분이 된다는 건 이제 끔찍한 핑계에 불과하니까. 그걸 깨달은 인간이 추모곡이니 뭐니 구차한 핑계나 늘어놓고 있고. 인간이란 그런 거 아니겠어? 그래서 이 연주를 시작한 거야. 이 연주는 나의 마지막 깨달음이 될 거고 동시에 모두가 이 깨달음을 알게 될 테지. 더불어 안젤리카를 위한다는 일은 이 장송곡이 마지막일 거야. 네 말은 끝까지 이해할 수 없네. 너무 헛소리라 그런가? 이해할 수 없는 것이 존재하기에 재밌는 거 아니겠어? 난 앞으로 내가 이해할 수 없는 걸 쫓을 거야. 무궁무진하게 앞으로 나아갈 힘을 얻는다는 뜻이기도 하고 그러기 위해서는 지금 너희의 그 힘을 손에 넣어야겠지? 정겨웠던 이야기는 여기서 끝내자. <웃음> 아직도 그 장갑에 정말 역겹네. 닥쳐. They were hers, right? The black gloves, they belong to her. You know why I don't like Agelia? He's like the type of villain. <laughs> Which is like nihilistic with a wicked sense of humor. <laughs> he, he's a very bad villain, I feel. Man, I would have loved if Pluto was the mastermind. I'm so sad that... The... <sighs> we didn't really have a villain in Lobotomy Corporation and it worked out fine. Like, we were our own villain, basically, and that was great. I sure hope that something is gonna happen that makes me go wow at the end of this, because... I don't know, maybe it's this is like... I always feel sad when something is coming to an end and I'm afraid that the way Ruina's ending is gonna leave me unsatisfied maybe that's why I'm downplaying my expectations stage is calling for us are the curtains finally about to rise okay we have more HP we have more like uh, we are endured against stagger apparently and since I have <laughs> grace of the press grip my Pierce dice gain plus two power for the scene. So I should be playing Pierce if possible. Target gains free vibration. Uses resonate. The common pitch becomes strong if Arcadia speed equals his target's vibration. Currently my vibration is zero. So we don't want to get hit by these two. On Clash Lose, opponent loses two vibration. Rather than losing it, it would be good to not get it in the first place, I feel. Gain one strength is pretty good. Reduce power of all targets dice. We can just let this one go through, really. Can try to. Well, PS dice are powered up, so that could actually work. What do we? Have? Oh yeah, Furioso. I'm not supposed to use it again. Spoilers. Some people can't help themselves. I understand, but doesn't mean that I'm happy about it. Right. The Pierce power worked out for the best here, I think. After three successful attacks on the same target, deal bonus dagger damage, which take less damage from slash attacks. Um, oh, that's pretty good. Oh man, they're all pretty fucking good. I mean, can I see what cards he has? No. I should have taken notice of if he has slash attacks or not. Pale Hands is definitely gonna help us speed up this fight, though. It's only 3 to 10 bonus stagger.
Let's take Scars for now. Even if it's the most wildcard one. Yeah, I hear some slash in there. It's very... Yeah, it's very diverse actually, his attacks. Okay. Gain vibration, lose vibration, gain vibration, deal sl uh, flat damage. So these two again. I feel like getting vibration is very bad. Maybe I'm mis like interpreting this. Let's see. What am I powered up for right now? Blunt. Well, it would be juicy, but... That also works, I guess. I mean, the first die is, is the important one, but it's 5 to 9 and this one is 5 to 7. He has 3 strength, I have 1 strength. Could be losing this one. Definitely could be losing this one. Now what else do we use? Do, or do I just use the Randall again? Then it gets 5-9, it is 5-9-2, so it doesn't really matter. Oh wait, wrong one, wrong one. Um. Did I just try my best on the first two attacks here? Okay. I mean, I would like to see what, what is going on with this vibration, you know? Oh, here we go, I think I have a vibration now. Start of the scene, randomize the cost of all pages whose original cost is less than 4. It's not really that good for Roland anymore, since his costs are already very nice, and kind of playing around that one. I'm gonna go for... Pale Hands, this time. If speed is equal to target's vibration, all dice on this page gain plus 4 power. The target loses all vibration. Oh, okay. It's not equal though. Speed is equal to target's vibration. His speed is 5, my vibration is 3. So he doesn't get the power here. Which means I can safe, not safely disregard it, but would still be good to lose vibration here. So a second... Strong dice, most likely blunt as well. Could work out for the best. Very cheap too. Okay. Now do I play Crystal Atelier here? Destroy opponents next time. Hmm. Just get through this one, even if I don't deal any damage to him. It doesn't matter too much. Recover Staggerous is pretty good. I'm gonna get hit here, but it doesn't matter too much. Uh, add a learn page to hand, replace all dice with ones on the opponent's page. That could be pretty good because I could be just trying to play his card against him. When winning a clash, inflict bind. Deal plus stagger damage against targets with bind. Could again speed up the process. I don't really want to take any more stagger damage. Stagger is already very scary compared to my health. So I could be going for bind or I could be going for... Man, that would be pretty juicy, actually. Then again, bringing down his speed levels to low by like close to the low vibration, could be dangerous. Let's go for learning. Okay, again, if speed is equal to vibration, which is it's not. Um, oh God. Uses it twice. It's still scary, even with the, without the plus four. It's scary. On clash lose, gain free strength. We need to win this one too. Oh shit! Um, I can't basically just let this clash against it.
right? Oh, yeah, yeah, let, let this clash against this one, sure, why not? Um, God, it's a little bit scary, this fight, I have to say. A little bit scary. Okay, second strong dice. What, what are we powered up for? Blunt again. Sure. Sure, I'm gonna get hit again, but it doesn't matter once more. Um, might use Wheels Industry in this one, but then again, would be limited on these two. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much. Um, especially considering that this is going... Shit. Can't really take this one over. That, that's pretty bad. Which means he's gonna. Oh wait, on Clash Lewis gain free strength. So I don't really want to fight against this one. I misread that. Okay. So I don't really want to clash against this. That's nice. I can live with this. <laughs> it's exactly how I worked it out. You know. Um. Do I just let this clash against it again? Or do I take the last hit, the slash one, which could be reduced? Yeah, let's go for this one. I might as well use this still. But do- will I? No. Will I? Do I? It doesn't matter. But again, range doesn't deal any- wait, Ragnar Workshop is not ranged. Oh, this changes everything. Or does it? Yeah, it kind of does. It kind of does. It kind of, kind of changes everything, right? You're using a range cut here, okay. Was at a at a year logic, right? That was ranged. Okay, he won his clash against me. He didn't win this one. Uh, something is happening, definitely though. Oh god! Yeah, he has a lot of strength. Dies at the end of the third scene after which his page was chosen. Can we defeat him in three scenes? I don't think so. Man, Lone Fixer would be great. Having a permanent, like, free strength in this could be amazing. <laughs> uh, we have one vibration. Again, he doesn't get his power, but he has four strength. Where the fuck does he get all of this strength from? Oh. Horrible because there's so many dice clashing against each other. Um, I'm currently powered up for Pierce. Regnum Workshop can actually win this one. Except for maybe the last one. Right? Right. Who knows? It's a mystery. Target gains free vibration. I don't really want that. I don't want that to happen. Um. God, he's gonna win this one. He has four, four strength, and he's clashing with a 5-7 against a 5-9 if I take this. So I'm gonna use this instead. A, a regular 5-9, which is powered up by my two PS power, and a 5-8. And it reduces the power of all targets' dice as well. Okay, this one is not taken over yet. Um... Ugh, this is bad. This is so bad. I can't take these over. Just can't. My speed is not high enough. I can only hope the bind is gonna kick in soon, but I'm, I will most likely be staggered in a second. The best I can do is use this, because it has a defensive die that will be... Or rather... Oh god, I don't know, actually. Like, I'm running out of light as well. I don't know, I'm gonna get staggered here. It's a typical case of lose it first time around and try to... Yeah, yeah, okay. I feel like learn wasn't a good choice. I'll definitely try this one again immediately. Maybe I'll shut up. Like, I'm just gonna try to concentrate. I won't speed this up yet because the episode is quite short right now, but... Um... 
I have no leeway in terms of like passive attribution though, really. Other than taking maybe what is available through the ensemble pages, which I don't really want to. Um, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Since I had like my Tipper of Exodia and I had like a Burak, um solo. Shit. Okay, I have now reached the final impromptu. And I do wonder if, I mean, I should have unlocked Furioso by now. But at the same time, as long as I win the first... Oh no, he fully recovered stagger. Well, whatever. He can't kill me with this, can he? Oh my god, this dice rolled three times, four times, four times. Well, maybe he can. Well, I'm either winning this or I'm losing this. At least I got this far. For now. Um, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I did have to give Roland some Brayman stuff and some... I don't know, recover HP at clashes and at the start of each scene to make him durable enough. But it was fun. Okay. Okay, now. So you need Furioso at the end of this. Should have known this before. I got him very low though, 7 HP. Interestingly enough, if I had stacked some more bleed on him, he would have died to this. So I need to look into Furioso again. It's pretty cool that they ended with this too. Like, I'm getting there. And we're here once again. Actually, fun- Oh, wait a second, I want to clash with the right one. Uh, oh my god, I was close. Funnily enough, once you once you manage to do it once, once you know which card to clash against which, 
It's actually kind of logical, to be honest. It, oh, I do like that the game demands of you to actually know your mechanics with, uh, like, using Crystal Atelier against the right cards to recover your stagger and shit. Oh, that w that is pretty cool. Although I do think that I could kind of... I, I don't know if I got carried by the Brayman passive or most so by these two passives that gave me so much HP and just made me able to ignore some attacks since I was able to heal up in the next turn. Anyway, let's see this happen. Furioso against, well, this shit. The great finale. Am I still recording? I am, okay. Nothing personal. Roland, this is how it how what how it ends or how it won't end. Anyway, I got two achievements for this one. Couldn't call for the reception of the blue reverberation. I'm gonna try to cut this episode short. Like it doesn't deserve to be Well, let's just say that just took me two hours to do this. <laughs> um Oh we got a gift for that. Ten percent chance to boost attack damage and stagger damage by plus two when the passive ability resonance activates. I guess they want me to use Argalia's page. On Roland or something. He dropped a lot of cards. I'm gonna use that in the realization. Is this the end of the game? No, it isn't, right? There's still like kid realization at least. 